So again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I just dropped my timer in my painting, which is only a background black color. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula. This will give me a nice background, back, a, a layer of paint. Lately, I'm having a harder time using my tongue. So I've got beautiful colors left over, and I'm thinking about ring pouring them right onto this black. It's, the temperature's dropped. It's not in the 90s anymore. It's really, really comfortable. It's also quite late in the afternoon. It might even be considered early evening by anyone waiting for dinner in the other room on the porch. Anyway, so I'm going to worry about my edges later. I know you've heard me say that before, but it's really true this time. I'd kind of like to move this to the back behind me so I can put colors in my ring pour cup. So I'm going to throw that spatula in the bucket. I'm going to move this out of the way. It would have been even better if I hadn't put four more things in my way. So I love the blues and the iridescence, and I want to use a whole bunch of this gold. It's not really a ring pour cup because there's no ringiness about it. That's Anita's white metallic. That's a color I'm almost out of, which is um, Quinacridone Magenta by Golden. I shouldn't have used that purple. I should use this purple, though. That's a uh, color shifting flash purple from Folk Art. That's another magenta. I wonder if I've got another pink around here. I bet I do. There we go. That'll work. And then last but not least, I'm going to put some of this gold. And any, any of these colors that I want to use, I will. Additionally, afterwards, if I can get them out of my way. How about a little red? Yeah. All right, let's pull this back. Okay, so far not a ring pour. Definitely a ribbon pour. And I don't have all the color I want in there at all. And I'm going to put some more of that red in some more of that orange in. The orange is great. No idea what these are going to look like when I tip them. But I got a cup and I can always add more colors to it. Let's go far and wide and near and far. I hope I can keep some of my beautiful colors that are my favorites like that purple. I've got chain and basing brushes, so if I want to do something else to this, I will. I'm liking the fact that I can keep all that gold right now. Gold usually sinks for me. I usually have to add it afterwards if I want it. It's slow moving, but it's moving. I think I'm going to need an edge catcher, and I have one. Pour onto. I kind of wish I'd put some more white in there. Just gonna let that pour right over the edge. So if I want to bring it back or I want to use the paint that I'm pouring away, I can. Move my pour cup out of the way. Seems to me I want a whole lot more orange in there than I've got. So why don't I just do that right now. I'm going to take that paint and an OXO omelet turning spatula. And I'm just going to put it right in there. And return it down in. Any any new formed puddles of paint that you add that are heavier in one spot will will definitely fall like that one is. I think I want to go from 
kind of want to go from over here, and I think that I want to use more than one orange color. I kind of want to use like three. And I'm going to do a little less. I thought I was going to do. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. I thought I was going to do a little less tipping there, but I'm not. And since I want, someday I will have space <laughs> again, I swear. So I'd love to say I'm sorry that this isn't a ring pour, but I'm not, so let's just put some black right over the edge where we can see that canvas right now. That way when I flip the orange down there, where's my yellow? And my green, excuse me, my... Let's just go for it permission to do whatever I want, which is what I always have anyway. And I have found recently that when I do these freeform puddles, it's nice to mix them up. Rather than that large edge catcher, I'm going to use something small that won't flip into my painting. I like that white in there. I like that the black is coming along with that. The other also. I'd like to be able to start down here on this other side and go back across. But right now I'm not hating on that. I like the drama of it. I hit my pour cup on myself. There it is. I want some, I want some lighter blues and some turquoises. Added right there to what I've got. Does it feel like to want? I thought I just cleared this top. I'm just gonna, ooh, <laughs> messy. I'm just gonna take this right off and pour it in over here. You can take my word for that. And I'm gonna try not to forget and pick it up again. I'm gonna grab some Bahama blue and I have some, some, oh, some also closed up. <laughs> Light blue with some iridescent pearl. Oh, and that's lumpy. All right, well, I'm going to throw a little bit more turquoise in there. And hopefully I can get that to do something I'm imagining. I'm going to seal this one back up at least for right now. Take a couple bottles out of my way. Couple sixteen. I have the edge catcher, but it's not on the right side, so I'm going to swivel my painting around. Let's grab this sheet of plastic and cover the edge of the canvas. And then, even though it's trepidatious at best, I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. Let that run down right there. And then I'm going to send it right, hopefully. I want all that to come at once. Right there. So, cover up my fingerprint. You know what? I think I'm just going to use my favorite color in there. And a little bit of black. And a bunch of gold. And maybe some orange. And that will give me the puddle that I need, that I want, to cross over all those other things.
Now, I want to move something from over here, and I can't really do that right at the moment because I've got this mass of paint. So let's just lead that down that way. See what I've got left in my cup. Add the purple flash and the multi-surface purple and any other purple that I can lay my hands on including the dioxidine, which I might be sorry about. And I'm going to throw some of that iridescent pink purple in there and some of Anita's white metallic. And I'm going to scrape that out if I've got something to scrape it out with. I kind of want to raise up that end before it tips over. I want to raise it up higher than that. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. All right, so where's my, there's my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. I'm going to use up all my paint if I possibly can. I, <laughs> I hate leaving that, but I've got to do it. Now I need... A little bit more. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna rock that. Doing this with my right hand, which I'm not used to doing. I want that to go right back on. Yes, I can do this. I can, I can, I can. It's not easy, but I can. If I would stop putting bottles on my edge catchers, that would be so terrific. Now that's not the right color and I don't want to dump all that in there. I can always cover my black spots later. It'd be nice if I wasn't scraping the painting off underneath the thing that holds my camera up. I think I'm just going to... Ah! Nope! <laughs> got it! It got me too. Pull that back over here. So that's pretty cool, and I'm not complaining at all about that. If I'd left myself a little bit of paint, and I maybe I did, I could probably continue on. Let's see what I've got here. Just right there. I like the dimensionality. I like the odd colors, too. This is extreme up here. I've got black and I'm going to cover my edges. I don't know how far I want to go with that. Not much further, i got to say. I am just going to take that color. and laid it right down there. Do I want anything else? I kind of do. Now I've got schmutz on there and I'm hoping that it'll be okay. Add a little color. There, I'm kind of happy with that, actually. Just going to make that cross over. I'm going to dip my skewer in so I can diffuse it a little bit. And call it fairly well off. Alright, so I'm just going to torch and fix my edges. 
And thank you for joining me. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. Realizing the timer is not set. It probably was set, but I probably didn't push the start button. So I love you guys, and I hope you got to see most of that. I'm going to touch my edges up right after I uh, torch. That was a lot of fun. I torch to release the, bu to release the bubbles caught in the paint from shaking my paint in the bottles with pouring medium and reshaking them every time before I use them again. I have enough paint on my edge catcher and stuff to cover new spots if I need to. I love you guys. I don't know how much time is left. It says there's four seconds, so maybe you are still here. <laughs> I'm going to take this came from over there and just apply it right like that because I can and fix my edges. So I ought to tell you guys in case the timer does go off and I'm not cut off that I do sell my artwork and the email address to contact me is right under the link tree right under the video along with Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students Expression to Start Studio, Gallery Totes and more for anybody shopping my Fine Art America Pixels.com, which are incidentally also right under the link tree. Should you be interested in finding them, you can. I have Teespring clothing and it's under the video on Expression to Start Studio Gallery Priscilla Bat Sells channel. There is 86,600 subscribers there. Well, nearly. <laughs> I get the numbers confused once in a while. Forgive me. Close. I thought I'd be at 100, 100 grand by now, but nope, not yet. Sometimes that, that hot, hot pink kind of messes with my head. Makes me want to put a, a, uh, a basting brush in there. Anyway, I love you guys dearly, and there's an uh, there's an exhibition video on, on, on the end screen of every video. What is that thing tickling my fingers? What is under there? <laughs> I don't know. And it will show you the prizes for the drawing. I have a monthly drawing. And if you want to get in, just look for the PayPal or Patreon icons on my channel header or on the link tree. You'll find the links there. Thank you guys for all the contributions that have kept me painting all this time, by the way. They're really, really necessary and really important, especially now since things have changed and not in a good way in the extreme, so I can't hardly cover my my monthly expenses as far as art supplies go. I'm just going to paint on smaller canvases. That's what I've decided. That's it. That's the solution. Smaller canvases. So, I'm pretty sure that I hallucinated that the timer was set right, and uh, you're going to be gone, and if you're not, I'll tell you again, I love you. And this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And uh, I'm going to torch again. But I'm going to see if you're still here first. I've touched up my edges and that fingerprint. The Floetrol will level the paint out. My paint pouring recipe is under the video. And you're still here, and that's so cool. All right. Well, I like this. This is different. That was fun. That's just tipping in a bunch of different directions. And uh, messy work, but well worth it. So I can check my card. Give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, I got paint on my crib sheet. Go figure. Check the Amazon link. If you shop there, it's at no added cost to you, and it helps me out. And I appreciate it very much. And I've had, had my few little tweaks here and there, and I'm happy about them. Just continue the line right over the... I love the idea of not having to use a frame. I also wouldn't mind some frames sometimes. So I love you guys and I'll see you anon. Check Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzell art for commercial free videos of mine and uh, hope to see you again soon. Look for 1360 videos organized by the hundred and also by the genre and you can find them on created playlists under all playlists on my channel. And tomorrow's video, too, is on the community board, which is listed 